this is a combination therapy. It's a fixed dose combination of three ingredients. And some people may say, okay, how did you get here? So basically, Farnex, that is the company that has created and is developing PXT 3003, has used an artificial intelligence platform, which is very, very common, relatively common these days. We hear about artificial intelligence every day for many things. Trying to identify or to identify the networks, the molecular networks associated with the genetics of this disease. Remember that we said that there is a genetic penetration. It's, it's a disease caused by a genetic mutation. By doing so, it was identified that three receptor networks were or are involved in the pathophysiology of the disease. Opiate receptors, muscarinic receptors, and GABA receptors. So by combining in a low dose three well-known pharmaceutical ingredients, well-known drugs already approved for, for other indications at much higher dose, and these are baclofen, naltrexone, and sorbitol. First, testing the ability of these drugs to impact the disease in well-established animal models, we've seen that this animal model, which is also a transgenic model, so reproduces the disease to a very good extent, were able to increase the malination of the fibers of these animals. Remember, the genetic mutation produces demyelination. Myelin is the coating of the nerves that allows the nerve to function properly. It's like having an electrical wire without the coating. It's going to be sparking and whatever is connected to that is not going to work. So nerves, peripheral nerves, function in a similar way. They have a coating that keeps them isolated from one another and is making them to work properly in the innervation of the muscle. And this disease causes a disruption in that. So we saw, and this has been published, that the, the mediation was improved by the administration of the combination and also that these animals had an increased muscle strength. Again, muscle weakness is a characteristic of the disease after the administration of the triple combination. With that data in hand, the company started working on clinical trials. First, an initial phase two study, relatively small, multiple dose levels to first evaluate the safety of the combination, obviously, and have some initial preliminary readout of the efficacy. And actually the study worked as expected. As a result of this initial relatively small phase two, the company did a phase three study, a much larger study, over 300 patients, all of them with CMT1A, two dose levels versus placebo, a typical blinded classical pivotal study. And the high dose in this study compared to placebo show exactly what was expected to be seen, what was an amelioration of the decline of these patients over a 15 month period. That was the duration of the study, 15 months. And patients in the low dose also show certain benefit compared to placebo, but that was not statistically significant. So, the study met basically three big criteria. One of them, efficacy was shown. Then safety remained very good, no safety concerns, but also those dependencies. So the higher dose provided better efficacy. That study had an issue with the drug itself. Some precipitation was observed in the solution in the in the study drug, 3003 is supplied as a solution, as a liquid formulation. So patients need to take a small amount twice a day. So as a result of this 
precipitation observed in the high dose, many of these patients were discontinued just in case, just because of their safety. So the relatively low number of patients did not allow for a full interpretation. But in, on the other side, the low number of patients, the results were statistically significant in favor of the drug. After that, the company kept working with the Food and Drug Administration in the United States. And in agreement with them, we have designed a new phase three study. This phase three study started back in March this year. It's blinded well controlled study that we are running in 10 countries, including the US, Canada, seven countries in Western Europe and Israel. As I'm saying, there's in about 50 clinical sites, the study is ongoing. We are recruiting patients as we speak. And in this one, we are comparing only the high dose group, the group that delivers statistically significant results in the prior study versus placebo. And the hope is, based on the data we have collected so far, to reproduce even in a better way the result that we got in the prior phase three. And the safety and efficacy data with pivotal target will be one of the main portions of our NDA, our application to the FDA to hopefully obtain the approval of the drug. 